<laughs> chastised by Antonio Lopez de Santa Ana. <laughs> yeah, and that's from uh, the the John Wayne Alamo. Oh, he, is he, it? He gathers all. He gathers all the. We're live. He gathers all the men together, and he yeah. reads a letter from Santa Ana. Says, "I will severely chastise you unless you, you know, surrender or whatever." And he does it, and then he confesses after uh, he reads it, and gets the reaction from him. Said, "Okay, now I got to be honest with you. I wrote the letter." Uh, Ellis, I think our feed just died. Really? Yeah, because I'm watching. Oh, there it goes. Okay, maybe not. It was okay. weird. It flashed the preview screen for a second. Okay, I think we're good. Okay. Anyway. So, so anyway, when he told his men, did you hear my story? Yes. When he told his men that he had made the story up, it didn't matter. I think it was Chill Wills. It uh, <laughs> just kept going on. It says, what does he mean, chastise? I'm going to show him chastise. Yeah, I'll chastise. <laughs> you him. know, even though it's right in front of him. So, it's it's like when you know it was a kind of an example of like okay mind control. Some people are just you know welcome it. You know. Yep. Yeah. Yes, and we call them Americans. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, you know, look at it. The guy that uh, never gets far from the bong is the guy saying, "Let's quit this nonsense." Uh, Woody Harrelson. Oh uh, yeah. You know, and that was a, those were great analogies of, uh, I don't know if you saw that. Uh, uh -uh. No, no, no. It's, it's pretty good. I don't know what he, I, I heard he came out and talked about COVID as like, oh, the vaccine didn't do anything. And because the record well, it was, for people was, was like, yeah, you're three years too late, buddy. Good, nice yeah, making yeah. a stand now. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. it is a little late. It uh, he he was just the concept was it was uh, him turning down a script for this ridiculous idea, which is basically exactly what they've done to us the past three years. You know, basically yeah. all the only it was like a, a a bad cartel had done it instead of the people who had actually did it yeah oh know. we can't we can't talk about that <laughs> oh oh what what the hell am i we'll thinking? get we'll get demonetized yeah, or I, demon I, we'll get we'll get a didn't you get a strike for that i got it uh completely uh taken off you're right i uh i'm asking for it i did i, I keep forgetting we are uh still under uh, uh the, the the iron boot of YouTube. iron boot yeah uh Mr. Okay. O'Brien, or, uh, or whatever his name was, uh, O'Brien in 1984, has still got oh, us in yeah. the room. Yes. Yeah. Don't, don't, don't. Uh, hey, if hey, by the way, oh man, my head's right in the way. If, by the way, if uh, if we get uh, booted off your channel, we'll just move to mine. Okay, good. <laughs> so we're good. We'll we're get good. more traffic. We'll get more traffic. Well, I'll get more traffic at least. Yeah. Uh, well, you know what? Uh, we we could alternate doing this kind of stuff. Uh, you want to do it? Uh, I, think too, the... I think it'd be too hard for people to figure out where the heck we're at. Oh, yeah. At. Yeah, you're right. Look, we'll you're stay right. here till you piss off our uh, our, <laughs> our world, imperial, our masters. Yeah, we'll yeah. let your we'll let your channel be the one that gets burned. <laughs> I've got to I've got to say, though, um, the alphabet didn't come after Scott Adams. He got canceled by everybody that means anything to him as far as money goes. But uh, he uh, he didn't get canceled by YouTube. So there's that. That whole thing. I mean, I didn't, well, you know what? Well, I don't even want to. I didn't see all of it. Well, I again, saw... yeah, commenting on it might get you canceled. Yeah. Well, it's just like I was talking to people at work about video games. Because one of my employees took off a day because a new video game came out this week. Oh, God. Yeah. Yeah, I know. It's like, dude, man, what, you don't have a weekend? You know, yeah. but he couldn't wait. Anyway, it's, oh, yeah, it's, he, he it's, his, it's, it's his vacation. He can take it however he wants to. But yeah, right. anyway, we were talking about the, the Harry Potter game, and I've been watching a guy play it. Not, the, I mean, I think I've stopped because it's gotten kind of boring, but mm -hmm. but uh, yeah, it's it's funny and, and, you know, my thing was, I was talking to somebody about it. I said, I don't really know why. I mean, I know, I know why, supposedly, but I don't even know what J.K. Rowling said. But I just think it's hilarious that all these people that were just ate up with 
Hogwarts and, and whatever, Harry Potter and all that mm-hmm. bull crap are like, oh my gosh, he's dead to me now. <laughs> it's just well, I, I, it, it's I think hilarious she... to me, you know, and I don't care what she said. I mean, I, I care, but I don't know, you know. It's just yeah. the situation I find very... I th- I just think it's funny when people that are on their high horse get knocked off of it once in a while, mm-hmm. you know, as the guy's been knocked off his a few times. <laughs> okay. Hey, before, before I get started drawing too much. Yeah. Go first, ahead. Tell for, go ahead. first off, this week has sucked. Uh, Monday, we went out of town uh, over the weekend. I'll talk about that in a second, but uh, Monday I'm leaving for work and Michelle and I leave about the same time and she, we're in the garage I and and for some reason I was backing out before her. I'm not sure. Normally we don't do that. She leaves before me. I'm backing out and I watch and I see her get out and she starts waving at me. You know, like she's flagging me down. Couldn't find out she had a low tire light. Well, mm-hmm. the night before on Sunday we had flown back from San Antonio. Her car was at the airport. Her car doesn't have a spare tire, by the way. It's one of those new cars. It's like, nope, you don't need a spare. Well. So she had a low tire. Well, so she hopped into my car and I took her to work and then I left her early. Well, I came home and I have a compressor at the house, uh, mm-hmm. which is a great investment, by the way, because I'm super anal about my tire pressure. Well, you'll have to tell me what kind you've got so I can uh, maybe duplicate. I've got one from Harbor Freight and I don't that's, like it. That's mine. I'm fine with mine. Oh, okay. Maybe I've got the exact same one you've got. Well, I'll tell you, it. I've got the accessories. I've got a... a, a I've got a 50 foot hose, which is overkill. <laughs> We've got the same thing. Okay. Yeah. And I've, I've got, got a little, little thing that you put on the tire and you push the trigger and it puts air in it. It's got yeah. a gauge on. Yeah. Yep. Yep. I've got all that. Well, well I just, they, I, I got, I probably just not patient enough. It uh, has to fill the tank up a little red tank, but it doesn't take that long. Yeah. Okay. I, I, mean, I got you. Yeah, quick. I need to use mine more often actually. Well, I use it. Well, I used it. So uh, I used it. I put air in a tire. Well, when I was putting air in, I saw there was a screw in the sidewall, and I was like, oh, well, they're not, they're not going to be able to fix this. So I thought, well, crap, because the tires are the uh, stock tires. And I said, well, I'll go. She had, we had an appointment at like five o'clock at the tire place right down the street. So mm-hmm. I went there. And I told them, man, I think I'm, I think I'm hosed. And they're like, oh yeah, you're hosed. Mm -hmm. And I said, well, what can we do? And they said, they said, well, we only have one tire. That's a 19 inch tire. I don't know why they put such huge tires on these cars. Yeah. It just costs you a fortune. Mm -hmm. Oh, her Murano had 20 inch tires. She had to get tires like $1,600 one time. It's ridiculous. Anyway, her car is not four wheel drive. I don't know why it's got these big tires on it. I say that mine are 18, which I think is a little more reasonable. But, they, but anyway, they only had one 19 inch tire. It was, I was like, well, is it the exact same size? So, I, and they go, well, it's not quite, it's a little bit different. And I go, crap, which I've driven on offset tires and it is, I'm not, I'm not doing that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it'll wear them out, I'm sure. Yeah. Oh, gosh. It pulls horribly. Mm, yeah. When you, when you, bre- it's not safe. It's really not safe. Mm hmm. Anyway, well, so, that, that, that bugs me about tire places. Anyway, it's like, hey, your job is tires. Yeah, uh, you why know. would you not have all? Why, the why well, would you not have the sizes? Well, a person it, and needs. It, last time we needed a tire for that car, we had to go back to the dealership, and I thought, well, I don't know if the dealership even has them. Her car's a couple of years old. Da da da. I don't want to do that to her. I just want to get it taken care of. I said, fine. How much for four tires? So, uh, 45 minutes later, $1,100, I'm out of there. Oh, my All from a God. That, that would uh, destroy All... me. I'm, I'm, it would... um... <laughs> well, I have been there. I've, I've driven on mismatched tires because yeah. it's like, I need a tire, and I've got $5. Here's what we got. You know, it's like, okay. Uh, well, yeah. And uh, But what gets me now, could you have, uh, if you had the time to do it, couldn't you treat them kind of like a gun gun uh, store and say, "Hey, uh, tire store, order tires for me." Can't they do that? Can't they uh, get the tires for you in I don't, in-house? I don't think they carry that brand is the problem. They just don't carry things. That seems weird. Yeah. You ought to just be able to make your customer happy. Well, with a tire 
okay, had it been my car and I have a spare, I would just put the spare on and bought the one tire. Mm-hmm. Michelle, Michelle doesn't have a spare. Mm-hmm. So I, what I could have done was I could have went back home the next morning, got up, put air in it, called around, found a place and drove someplace that possibly had it or had somebody order it for me and have to do it again. I mean, it's just yeah. like, you know, and I have things to do. Michelle has things to do. I sure. you know, so it's like, and, and that one tire has had a nail or a screw in the, in the sidewall before. And we bought one at the dealership because the one that had the screw, uh, was, uh, was better because i said well how worn out are my tires he said well let me look the other three were in the yellow so they could have went longer but it wasn't like a they weren't like they were brand new Mm -hmm. you know so i don't anyway that's how my week started so that was what i did monday night and then i started drawing on tuesday but uh i was drawing this page drawing page i think it's page four anyway i used well, let me show you some stuff I got on okay. the trip, and then I'll talk about the trip. All right. Or I'll, let me show you. I got this. Let's see, can you see that? Yeah, Alamo All Stars. Yes, the, I picked this up. That's uh, a comic book, huh? It is a graphic novel about the Alamo, huh. and literally, and I didn't know much about the Alamo before we went to see it. I knew it was small, and I'll tell you a weird story about that. Is it done uh, by a semi-famous artist? Uh, no. Okay. No. 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 It's nobody you would have heard of. Okay. Um, let me see. There's uh, the Alamo battle in here. Takes like one page or something like that. Oh. Oh, it's like that. Pa- the Alamo battle. The actual battle battle was so short. Um, this guy does a series of history uh, comics. It's 15 bucks. I saw it at a gift shop. I thought it was so cool. I just bought it. I didn't even go, I should buy it cheaper off of Amazon. I was like, I want to buy it and, and read it here while I'm here. And I read, and I didn't. I ended up reading it when I got home. But I mean, it was, it, it was just an overwhelming force kind of thing, huh? Just blammo. Well, oh, the Alamo? Uh, yeah. I thought you were talking about me buying the book. I'm, I'm oh. flipping the pages <laughs> of the book. I don't know if you can see. It's kind of a cartoony style, but this guy mm-hmm. has done several books about, I don't know what they're about, but uh, but they're all historical like this. Mm-hmm. Um, but I mean, this is a great book. I read it. I enjoyed it a lot. I'm going to talk about it on the podcast tomorrow night. Cool. But uh, but I, I didn't. I saw this at one store at the mall, kind of a, a gift shop. And I and I picked it up just kind of on a whim. Because normally my instinct is uh, I get it off of Amazon for mm-hmm. you know, yeah. 10, 10% off. But I was like, you know what? I'm here and I want this. And I just bought it, you know. Mm-hmm. Little did I know. Less than a week later, I would be spending eleven thousand dollars, not eleven thousand, eleven hundred dollars on tires. I might have been a little more conservative with my money, but I probably wouldn't have been. Um, and then I I got this uh, recently in the mail. Oh. I didn't. It's Gil Kane's Spider Man issues. Mm-hmm. And I'll tell you why I bought this. I will tell you. I don't know if Dan is watching. Hopefully he's not. I don't want him to know this. I'm kidding. Uh-huh. Uh, I bought this because look at these buildings, man. I'm yeah. not a I'm not a huge Gil Kane fan. Oh, here, look at this. Look at that splash page. Mm-hmm. That's that's the kind of stuff. It's like okay, I want to steal that look for mm-hmm. the black for the black cricket. Maybe not this so much. This is this mm-hmm. is not a fan of so much. Mm-hmm. But Gil, I mean, Gil Kane's great. Oh yeah, he was. Uh, he's one. Of the, he was one of the greats of my childhood. I, uh, my uh, memories of seeing the new Green Lanterns that he did the covers for. Oh were yeah, very memorable. But anyway, I picked that up, and I've kind of been. That's been kind of inspiring me on this. I want. I want my comic to have this kind of look to it. I, know, I guess those two artists, uh, Kane and, you do want that look. You know the thing that I think you could uh, have a quick look at too in terms of like showing you maybe how to make your life easier would yeah. be look at that Mr. X and realize oh, okay. those are some of the most pleasing cityscapes you're ever going to see 
look at him closely and see that he never goes to more trouble than just intersecting blocks. It's oh, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, they're uh, they're extremely pleased. Oh, just the first four issues. The uh, <laughs> you know, you know the uh, yeah, so and so yeah, yeah. so and so brothers. Seth. Yeah, oh no, yeah. Hernandez. Seth did yeah. it later, but I don't think he, I don't think that's. Seth d- did good work, but it just not after you got used to that Hernandez brothers. Uh, it was like, uh, I can't do it anymore. Yeah. yeah. But the story, the character was there. A guy should stick with it and, you know, read all of them. But I, I didn't. <laughs> I've I got said, the, okay. I've got I've the, got uh, I've got a hardcover that I think it has the first run in it or something. It's, it's about that thick. I need to re- I need to read it. I'm glad you said that. Yeah. I bought it at San Diego. The cover is a hard cover. The cover's damaged. Um, mm-hmm. I think I paid like ten bucks for it or something. Wow. Just because you know, it's like, oh, this is kind of cool, you know. Uh huh. Well, it does have some uh, great design because the guy was more of a uh, uh, branding kind of guy. He was really ahead of his time in terms of like how much you can, how much. Uh, heat you can get for something just by putting out you know a few posters and stuff like that and you know it, it was totally preloaded in terms of like the public's readiness for the thing you know the the thing and, I, and we were talking about this in the email but the thing that i remember seeing about but before i bought that the first i ever saw about mr x was in a Macworld magazine ad for some sort of online i thought it was a hypercard stack which is i don't i don't even know what that I remember is that I, oh that was uh the start of the internet the, 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 yeah basically but hmm. uh anyway there was a hypercard stack i believe of all of mr x or something i don't, yeah. I don't know but click it, it and it goes to the next one yeah yep <laughs> basically it's like uh just a, a less refined version of what they <laughs> do nowadays when you get on uh what, what's the viewer we use anymore? Oh, uh, com- comicsology or whatever. Yeah, comicsology. Yeah, yeah. That's that was, and like I said, then I was at San Diego one year and I saw the book and I was like, ah, I should get this. And I don't know if I've. I think I flipped through it. And then mm. I read uh, Terminal City, which I think was by the same guy, wasn't it? I think it probably is. It sounds like uh, probably the same same family of uh, creator. Yeah. Anyway. Hey, did, did you see that trailer for uh, people are trying to make it controversial? I just thought it looked like uh, Disney probably taking off on their their product. Pretty, pretty cool. Uh, the new uh, Peter Pan. Oh, uh, no, I have not seen it. I've, I I heard something about it. I heard people were offended because Tinkerbell was black or something. Uh, I don't know. I mean, what a stupid thing. I mean, Tinkerbell is not human. What? What? Right. She could be <laughs> anything. I mean, what, <laughs> what? What's wrong with you? No. Oh, yeah. oh, you know, I, I so, and and this is a bad thing to say considering what happened yesterday. But uh, I I told somebody, and I've told several people at work this. People at my work are so stressed out that I told somebody I predict there's going to be a this, fist fight at there, work. There is that that is all pervasive. Uh, you get done, you you'll you'll start thinking about where am I going, and we called it. Uh, they they outlawed this law uh, word during the uh, Obama administration, but they called it. Uh, Oh, no, it's not ennui. It was a, a particular term that covered the... Uh, like a malaise? Kind a of malaise. Or... They outlawed the word malaise. Malaise? No, oh, yeah, the, uh, the how, uh, me- how do they media. Describe, how would they describe Jimmy Carter then? If they didn't yeah, well, that's the it. They, they didn't want any reference that uh, evoked Jimmy Carter. <laughs> oh, God. And I imagine right now you'll you'll go a long way to find the use of the word malaise but we are definitely suffering from it we uh oh, I, yeah. I remember jimmy carter and you thought to yourself well i guess it was a good run but i guess america Amer- america's has, over it's <laughs> over so and long. uh yeah and, that's like some kind of hunter s thompson <laughs> yeah i could just uh, see like you know goodbye america yeah, <laughs> you know? yeah. And that's what they want you to feel. 
if you uh, the, this these books on um, the Machiavellians uh, by that guy James Burnham, this is exactly how power wants to keep power is interested in nothing but keeping power sure and uh that security for them means that we are always roiled and uh and, and churned up and having troubles we we always need them for cures we're always begging uh to please come save us all that kind of stuff goes on not without me. Not, with, not me i'm good well <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know, it's like you can you can say that, but even Scott Adams, who wanted you to know early, early in his commentary to people, was that I have a few money. There is nothing that can happen to me. It's happened to him now, and you can tell he, as much as he'd like to be above it and beyond it, he can't help but be on his apology tour right now, and it, it, it just well, won't end. Why do you, why do that? I don't. Here's what I don't understand. What in the world was he trying to accomplish? I mean, uh, he, is he, well, he, is he claims he, he claims it was part of his master plan. Now he says, ah, now I have all the attention I need. <laughs> like oh, losing God. the syndicate and all that was uh, in the master plan. But uh, you know, he just hey, more he, power to him. I yeah, mean, you know, if he yet. thinks he can do it. He well, thinks he's a force for good. That's, you know. Yeah. The, the, hey, you know what? And 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 I was at the Alamo. We'll, we'll cir circle okay, back. Go ahead. Go ahead. I was at back. the Alamo where people died for what they believed in, you know. Yeah. And so, you know, if, if Scott Adams is willing to throw his, his, his fortune and his future on the funeral pyre of, of whatever he thinks he's going to accomplish, which I kind of question, but yeah. then hey, you know what? He's in good company. Yeah. He's in, you know, I, uh, so, so the Alamo was pretty cool. Uh, the Alamo itself, or let me phrase it. San Antonio was pretty cool. The Alamo was a letdown. I had a weird experience though, Ellis. What? I thought I'd never been to San Antonio. I uh -huh. went, I've never been to San Antonio. So, but I went in and I was like, I've been in this room before in the Alamo. <laughs> and I was like, I don't know. And I told my wife, I go, I've been in this room before. And she's like, what? And I go, I've never been to San Antonio, but I've been in this room before. Now, don't get me wrong. I wasn't saying I am reincarnated, you know, <laughs> or anything like that. But mm -hmm. I, I work with the guys always like, well, in the past life, don't believe that. I don't believe that. Point of mm -hmm. demand wants to die. Anyway, the, uh, so, uh, but I, but the, the, well, and then kind of find out when I was like one and a half, my family went to the Alamo and oh, I baby. went, you know and what? Like, those, yeah. Those, those, uh, yeah, that was some embedded memory, huh? I was like, do I remember this from that? I mean, mm -hmm. I have seen stuff about the Alamo, but it didn't like, I, okay. Like there's a movie called cloak and dagger where they go to the Alamo, mm -hmm. but I don't think it was filmed in the Alamo. It's been, a, we're going to yeah. watch it again this weekend. I've got it on DVD. But I wonder, I wonder if Pee Wee's big adventure was filmed there. Actually. I don't think it was because to me, it didn't look like that. Oh, okay. I expected it to look different based on that. But when we stepped in that room, I was like, I have been here before. I, I recognized this. Yeah. And I, and, and I, you know, anyway, anyway, again, I don't put any kind of stock in, you know, don't misinterpret mm -hmm. what I'm saying. I don't, I wouldn't, I, I think probably either I've seen it, which I don't recall what I saw it on, but I have seen Pee Wee's Big Adventure and I've seen Cloak and Dagger. So I'd have to watch them and see if, mm -hmm. but I don't think, I don't think, I don't recall either one of them looking how it lo actually looks. You know. I still, I still remember that tour guide going on about <laughs> Inez and making tortillas. And Pee Wee Herman shifting from one foot to the other. Finally, at the end of it, saying, "When will we see the basement? The Dude, basement." Everybody you would laughing never, at Pee Wee. You would never go to the Alamo and think there was a basement. I mean, it's a small, <laughs> yeah. it's a small room, man. It's a one room chapel. Hmm. I, anyway. Uh, the uh oh we don't have any comments do we uh actually fly fox is here he just oh, now, i hey. don't know if he showed up uh let's see a minute ago 
No, is okay. that the new uh, Halo 2 game? Which, I'm which not game? sure what you're referring oh, to. Oh, is he talking? Uh, so oh. I said one, yeah. of my, one of my employees took it off. To, oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, no, it was Destiny. It was a release for Destiny. He loves this game called Destiny. The game's like nine years old, but they released an update. He has a he has a full sleeve tattoo from that game. Oh my gosh! Well, he's young. Okay, yeah. <laughs> you know, I mean, I mean, yeah. That's not you know. I mean, he's a he's a good employee, and and he's he's a I want I almost say he's a good kid, which sounds really condescending, but I mean, he's a real good employee. Mm-hmm. It's just it's just sometimes. I kind of questioned some of the financial <laughs> moves yeah. of my of some of my employees, but whatever, it's his money, man. It's his, his money, yeah. his, his, his vacation nervous. days. Yep. yep, yep. Oh yeah, I, 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 I'm not a tattoo guy. I would never. I, I will. I would get a tat. I, I will say this: if I ever were to get hired by Marvel, I would probably get a Marvel Comics tattoo, but it would be. The old logo, the M with the comics under it, like the one from when I was a kid, mm-hmm. and or or like in the I think it's in the eighties, maybe in the nineties, uh, and and only just because it's like, hey, you know, I feel like that should be something. If I had kids, I might get my kid's name or something, but I really mm-hmm. have no desire to get a tattoo, but just because I don't know what I'd want on my body forever. Oh yeah. Yeah, they uh, they recently had a little thing about just a business that's just going great guns. They're going to have to expand and be, uh, become open up franchises, and that is tattoo removal. Oh it's, yeah, uh, it's it's uh, really a big deal that they opened it up and says, uh, says we're looking at a lot of uh, growth here. We you know they just blew up the moment they uh, you know started advertising they're open, and uh, you know. I'm pretty sure it's not people saying, I need to clear off this area. I need to get a new one or anything like that. I'm pretty sure it's people that says, hey, you know what? I don't want any tattoos. I think I would imagine that's it. I don't know what you do with somebody that's uh, Joe Rogan totally sleeved up. I don't I don't know how you'd even cope with uh, getting those off if you felt like you wanted to. I, I, don't, I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I mean, again, I don't. That my big thing is just I don't know what I want I would want on my body permanently, yeah. um, you know uh, I don't know and and I I like what uh, John Burns said he said I've never seen anybody that made him look better and I tend to agree with that yeah <laughs> you know it's, it, you know but anyway anyway be that as it may so we. we uh, I don't know how we got talking about tattoos. Oh, we're talking about we're talking about destiny in my mind. Okay, okay. The uh, but uh, the Alamo, uh, uh, San Antonio, the Alamo was underwhelming. But but we went, so it was a, a work trip for my wife, and we had to go. Or we didn't have to, but but I went. We went on a one of the. So my wife is a uh, an engineer, an electrical engineer. And she does her specialty is lighting. She does lighting, mm-hmm. and she's a certified lighting consultant. And she, uh, so she's uh, a member. She's on I don't know some committee or board or something for the illuminating lighting engine, illuminating engineer lighting society or something like that. I illuminating engineering lighting society mm-hmm. anyway so that's what this was is it was their meeting they have meetings every uh every quarter this was their quarterly meeting in fact i'm going to a, a convention a lighting convention in new york city in may uh but anyway at, so so one of the guys that lived close to there about an hour away invited everybody to come out to his house and just hang out and have some food and and so he 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 chartered a bus for thirty people. I mean, it had to cost the guy a fortune, but his house was huge, so he can afford it apparently. But it was it was it was nice. But on the way out, I watched, or actually on the way back I, on YouTube, I watched a, a documentary. I think it was from the History Channel called "The Real The Real Story of the Alamo," and that was pretty interesting. And it kind of lined up with that book I bought. Um, and what's funny is the Alamo, I always thought the Alamo was, well, the Texans were stealing 
still from the in from the, the Indians, the Mexicans. Eh, it's not really quite that clear cut. Uh, the most of the Texans were actually Mexicans that had come over from Mexico, mm-hmm. and and they had a they had a deal with Spain, which owned Mexico at the time. However, Mexico succeeded or not succeeded, but uh, succeeded re- revolted against Spain, mm-hmm. and so and and. That and so the the Texans were worried that that would affect their deal, you know, because all of a sudden there's a new. They had to yeah. deal with the Mex and the first thing new sheriff in town. Well, yeah, the first thing the Mexicans said was no more immigrants from America can, can come to Texas, mm-hmm. and so they were worried that they were going to start thought about and so the Mexicans had invaded some town near San Antonio and they, they, they policy was no quarter, which means if they, if they, no prisoners, basically they killed everybody. Yep. And so the people in the Alamo thought that, well, and that was their fate and that was anyway. So it was, it was kind of, and again, I don't know all the ins and outs of it, but it was, it was interesting because it was not uh, what, what I thought, the history was was not what it was Mm -hmm. or it was a little more complex Mm -hmm. but the battle was fairly fairly short i mean it it was a two week they were they were the alamo was pretty solid the walls Mm -hmm. and they didn't have enough big enough gun to penetrate it so they just blasted at it with a smaller gun for like two weeks until the walls started to crumble and then at some Mm -hmm. point they they charged them Mm -hmm. yeah just just uh, lay them under, uh, sea, under siege and then yep. open yep. them up and go. Yeah. Um, I saw I saw Davy Crockett, uh, which was, I mean, not Davy Crockett, but I saw a statue of Davy Crockett, which is pretty cool. Mm-hmm. Um, I grew up kind of hearing about Davy Crockett. I, I, will, I They had a sticker that had Davy Crockett's famous uh, speech he gave Congress when he lost his second bid to Congress. He says, <laughs> You all can go to hell. I'm going to go to Texas. <laughs> huh, that's pretty good. Yeah. The, uh, I, I, the, the joke that I told my employees was, I said, uh, San Antonio is pretty cool, but gosh, there's too many Texans there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, it's very yeah. much a, cause, well, at one point the Mexicans were trying to get a, a cannon, a small cannon that one of the other towns had. Uh-huh. And so they said, we don't want anything. We just want that cannon. And the people from the town put up a sign that said, come and take it with a cannon, on, a, like a crude drawing of a cannon on it. Uh-huh. And, that, and you could buy T-shirts of that and flags of that <laughs> everywhere in that stupid town. The um, most iconic moment, huh? Right. Come and take it. Yeah. yeah. And, and you could buy a version with an AK-47. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, uh I, I, I'm really hungry. Uh, these this Celtic, I'm on their mailing list, and I would just love to death to have a carbine that they sell called a uh, a uh, the sub two thousand, and it's just basically a stick that even it even folds in two. Basically, it folds over itself to shorten it. You know, can you imagine shooting any anything down a barrel that folds? <laughs> no, <laughs> this, this. I, I think some of the gas would leak out, wouldn't it? <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, you would think that uh, I would just worry about it being true from the uh, uh, chamber to down the barrel, you know. But, yeah, it's like, did I get it fully folded yeah, out? Did I, did I, <laughs> this thing better not let me shoot it unless it's uh, unless lined it's up. Fully, I, I hope there's a locking mechanism. Yeah. What yeah, was I would, the name? I would, what was the, What's the name it's of the- it's the Celtic oh, Sub Two Thousand, and it's uh. What's it, how does it spell Celtic? Uh, K E L T E C, and it's a uh, Sub Two Thousand, and it like I say, it just looks like a stick, and but what it is, it's just using uh, the idea of your having something like a uh, uh, your your Glock, and it, it takes Glock magazines. And you just plug those magazines in. You got a nine millimeter carbine, carbine, 
and you could get it in 40 too, 40 caliber, but uh, cool. I'd, I'd, I'd probably want the uh, the nine millimeter. Yeah, it, it's funny you say. I was looking at guns on the internet last night. <laughs> I uh, that'd be a good gun to you know just uh, have laying around, you know, folded up. Yeah, sit, I sit around I, and just whip it out. I still want a, a thirty-eight snub nose. I don't know why. Oh, there you go, like a detective. Yeah, like a detective uh, from the old shows. Like yeah, a cult. Yeah, cult detective. You know what? And I I had the same. Uh, didn't you have one? Same, or? I did have one, and I hated the recoil on it. That, uh, see that? Yeah, it's uh, and, it's and, that short barrel. It really uh, goes skyward when you shoot it. It's not made for shooting. It's made for sticking in somebody's ribs and pulling yeah, the trigger. I tell you, this this you might got, go off. Yeah, yeah, yeah right. It's a uh, yeah. I don't know. You know, yeah, I don't, it's, it's I don't, not for it's not for plinking. Yeah, it's not for saying. I think I'll go have some fun and shoot my go, little thirty-eight. Go, yeah, it's like, no, oh, dude. So one of us is gonna die. Yeah. <laughs> I I don't know. You know, I don't have a gun, and I think I uh, thought you had a couple of guns. I uh, thought you and Michelle decided to we go did. in for guns. Something happened, and and it's like, eh, I don't. Oh, I, I well, I haven't. It's I, because here's the thing. I'm like, if I'm going to own a gun, I need to go to the range at least once a month. Mm -hmm. You know, and it's like, yeah, I'm not sure I'm that committed. And also, it's like, eh, you know. So did you uh, get rid of it or did you uh No, I never, I, ne I, no, 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 I, never, I never got I never got never one. bought it. We, okay. we, we went with a friend of mine, one of my Dungeons and Dragons friends. And he okay. just, he, he had, he showed up the range with two duffel bags full of guns. Oh man. my God. And we shot off like $200 worth of ammo. Oh yeah. <laughs> between the three of us. It's easy and, to do. Yeah. It, it was fun, but man, we got done. I was like, man, my wrist is sore. <laughs> sure. Yeah. Yeah. It, it was, it was cool, but I was like, eh. I, I just never got to where I could make myself quote, pull the trigger. So to speak. yeah. Yeah. <laughs> It's just I, I don't know I I don't I don't I don't want to go into it lightly. Mm -hmm. No no you know, no you know. no you ought to get a gun that you really dig. Well, like I, I, I I've, I've just got my compromise guns. I've got a little twenty two uh, revolver western style. Oh yeah, that it was the cheapest thing I could get because I felt like I needed to have a, a, a pistol option. And then I've got my single shot 410, which would probably be the first gun that got whipped out if I had a home invasion. But boy, I would be in a hurry. You, you better yeah. hit him, man. Yeah, I'd be in a hurry to break that open and reload, I tell you. And, but the thing is, something like a shotgun goes off. Nobody's paying attention to the fact that you've got to break it open again and reload. You know, they just heard that shot. They should be on their well, way that, that's after my true. first shot. That's true. Michelle's grandparents, when they had their farm sale, they had a bunch of shotguns. They sold pretty cheap. And it's like, oh. And as they were being auctioned, Michelle's mom was going, oh, did you guys, were you guys, did you guys want you one want of the one? shotguns? Like, oh, that is a shame. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Maybe that's what I should look at. That I'd be more comfortable with something like that, just under the bed, and not necessarily something I'd have to carry with me. Something that uh, was even uh, like I've got a four ten that just happened to have slugs in it. And that'd be very uh, not slugs, but uh, what do they call it uh, when you have a sh big deer shot? Uh, oh yeah, buck, buck shot basically. Big buck shot. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and also, you know, there's always the thing of like, God, what if you accidentally shot your wife? I oh, mean, if I lived yeah. alone, it'd be one thing, but, yeah. or what if she you, shot you, me? You've already if, got, the, if, you got the nightmare mapped out. Yeah. What right. if she, what if she shot me on purpose? You know? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> forget about, forget about that accident stuff. That's one reason not to bring a gun into <laughs> yeah. the home. Yeah. It's like, uh, <laughs> Can we go to some? Can we go to some some uh, therapy and like talk about our feelings for a little bit yeah, first, yeah. just to work, yeah. just to make sure. I think everything's cool, but let's check it out before we bring firearms into the home. This is uh, for that. This is for that Alamo experience. <laughs> oh, so anyway, back to the Alamo uh, or back to San Antonio. 
San Antonio. Have you ever been to San Antonio, Ellis? Uh, you know what? I probably haven't. I, I didn't realize how how much of a border town it was, and I've only been to Corpus Christi for getting that that far down. I've been to uh, I have been to Austin though. How close uh, is it to Austin? It's quite a ways. Yeah, it's more Houston it's, level. It's, yeah, 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 yeah. We're, it wasn't. It's it's down by Houston, but it's not that. It's not that. It's not. I think Houston is east of it. It's more inland than Houston. Uh, okay. The city I thought was really cool. I liked it. I don't know. It reminded me a lot of New Orleans for some reason. I'm not really sure why. We were downtown, which is where the Riverwalk is. Mm-hmm. And it's it's nothing like our river walk in Oklahoma City because yeah, for, for, I mean ours is like it's a, not a river. Yeah, it's not a river, but the the one down there is a lot more natural looking, and it's mm-hmm. and it's below the street level, which I think ours is, but it's it go it, it's it's bigger, it's long, it goes forever. Uh, but I I thought it was, I thought the river walk was cool. I thought the city was cool. I went to they ha- from downtown i was able to walk not far from the alamo there's an art supply store i went to and i picked up a few things there and then you get? i got a i got a bunch of pencils i've been buying uh uh faber castell pencils and they had a they were like a buck 60 i think and normally they're about two and a half dollars so i bought i bought a bunch of those i bought Every Stadler, because I like these blue line pencil they had, which was three. (laughs) Um, Let's see, what else did I get? Oh, and I saw a sketchbook there that I kind of liked, a Fabriano. It was kind of a hardcover, and I was like, this is kind of nice. I like the size of it, but it was sealed, so I couldn't see what the paper was like. But I, I, I didn't buy it, and then later I thought, you know what, I ought to check, and it was about like, it was it was like twenty four dollars in the store, and it was literally like eighteen on the Amazon. So I bought it on Amazon. Well, it's interesting. I'm looking at uh, the map right now of uh, San Antonio to Austin. Yeah. And uh, you know, it's it's uh, like going to Tulsa. You know, it's not Is too it? far. Oh, yeah, it's okay. like uh, seventy miles. Oh, okay. Yeah. So. And it's farther south. I didn't. Well, I knew that. I guess. Yeah. Interesting. That's why they had to be um, liberated from Mexico. So, so yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Exactly. The border they're showing right now is like if you go straight south, or let's see the closest point that you get. Oops, it didn't work. I would assume the guy in. Um, no country from old old men might have been in San Antonio. I know, I'm not sure. Oh, well, yeah. no, maybe more. Well, they. I they, thought I he was. I thought it was more border town than yeah, that. Yeah, East. I don't think I, yeah, East Texas. I forget where they said that. I'll have to check that out. I'm not sure though where they filmed it counts because I think uh, they they filmed it remote East Texas. I'm not sure where they wanted you to feel like it was at, but uh, I'll have to check on that sometime. Yeah, it's a it's a good hundred miles to the border, but now back then it's like where is the border? Yeah, yeah. Well, Santa Ana drove. I mean, he marched his men to to uh, the Alamo, and it, and 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 apparently it was not. He was. They were not happy about having to go. Yeah, you know. Yeah, but uh, you know, it's a slog. Anytime you, that's the. It's one of the hardest things why we owe the people in the military so much. This isn't, you know, it's not easy work to to pick up and project force. It's always going to be a hardship on everybody involved. Oh, yeah, <laughs> even in modern times, but certainly oh, yeah. back, back then. Oh, yeah, and even with the way, uh, you know, America with unlim- apparently unlimited resources. since we- Well, if we need money, we just print it, Ellis. Yeah, we just print it. What yeah. the hell? What the hell? We're going to we're giving uh, the Ukraine. I wonder if I can be canceled for. Uh, oh no 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 yeah no don't no, mention no. We're, don't mention the Ukraine giving, either. We're not we're not giving anybody anything. They're patriots. Yeah yeah. They we owe them. We yeah. owe, we are we are loyal. 
Yeah. You got you got to be even you though know, and, as you a, know you can seem like a total idiot if if everything good comes out of this in terms of like saying ah by fighting a proxy war with Russia we gave them newfound freedoms and yeah. the world is better. But I, I don't buy it for a second. I, I, I think of it as strictly a way to burn off what they have that they have to burn off, which is uh, uh, art. Uh, 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 la, 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 no, no, no. <laughs> they, have, they have to burn off all that. Um, Oh, what do you call it? Munitions, basically. So they can buy new munitions. They have to keep that going. And uh, I realize now, I used to be so mad thinking about Bill Clinton using every smart uh, missile we had to bomb. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, what, wherever it was. Um, oh, gosh. Anyway, I can't remember. Can't, uh, come up with the name of it now but it you know it was uh Libya. used to be Libya. no 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 uh, oh that was reagan never mind yeah 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 no no and he just dropped one bomb in uh but uh yeah clinton used up our entire arsenal that's probably the word i was looking for to bomb uh, uh what had been a traditional ally and oh oh you're talking about in europe yes Oh, yeah. And it uh, just just kept going, and just until they were all gone, and then it's like, oh, well, that's good news, actually. You know, that's exactly who he was feeding the good news to was the military industrial complex. Well, yep, yep. we'll need new ones of these. Yep, you know? crank up the crank up the uh, crank up the the uh, Maverick missile or the 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 uh, Tomahawk. Take crank up the Tomahawk. Press, so, uh, yeah, I want to say Slovenia or whatever. Uh, what is the? I'm going to look it up here. Bill Clinton's war. <laughs> the, as a as a Eastern European, which is what I'm identifying as, I mm -hmm. feel like a lot of these people are my traditional enemies. Yeah, Kosovo, Bosnia and Kosovo. Yeah. On on yeah. every form that allows me to fill out my nationality, I refer to myself as an. Eastern European American. <laughs> Does it allow that? Does some, it of them do. Slot? Some, some of them do. Yeah. I'm I'm half Czechoslovakian, man. Cool. Oh, I remember that when we talked about that little uh, that little patch of land that's over there on Forty Fourth and uh, South Forty Fourth. It's a little check. Oh yeah, the the little, little check graveyard. Cemetery. Yeah, yeah, little check cemetery. Not too far from you. Yeah, not very not, far. Yeah, it's bizarre. I went to a funeral there, which is probably oh, what really I they oh, actually yeah. put a new yeah. body in that thing. I would oh, think it'd be maxed of, out. No, 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 no. One of my great aunts was buried there. Not post COVID. That's how long ago it's been. Well, yeah. Well, she probably had a, uh, you know, I mean, you have to reserve a spot from some time. Uh, sure. Some time, sure. Sometime past, yeah. But it was bizarre because we were at, and, and you know what? There wasn't a funeral, but there was a graveside service. Hmm. And we were at, in fact, it's been since dad's passed away because I hmm. took mom, I believe. I don't think dad was with us. And uh, the uh, it was bizarre because we were in a neighborhood. I mean, it's like a, it's like a, a like yeah. a, about the equivalent of about three lots, two or three lots in this there neighborhood. Is absolute, there is absolutely nothing scenic to be found in mm -hmm. this particular cemetery. It's, it's, it would be hard to landscape it to make it, to beautify it, really. Yeah, it's uh, southwest side of Oklahoma City. It's a, it's uh, a, it's a patch of grass with a chain link yeah. fence around it. Yep. And there's no, there, I think there was a couple trees in there, but they were not maintained or anything. Yeah. It was just a Czechoslovakian cemetery. I haven't been down to that area in ages. I always uh, take different routes. I, I always leave this area to do everything. So it's like uh, I'm, ne I'm never over on 44th headed toward Western or anything like that, which I oh, used yeah. to always be. You know, I had a, I had a job at C.R. Anthony's that was on. 44th and Western, and it was like... Oh, really? Yeah. I tried to picture you at a C.R. Anthony's. <laughs> oh, heck, I work there. I'm selling stuff. I have... With, with a... my uh, color blindness, saying, oh, oh this, yeah, tie this, this, this tie looks this good tie with that. This, 
This orange tie like, matches that green jacket what you're the buying. Hell? What, what's wrong <laughs> what with you? you? What are you colorblind? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, that's that's the line know? I got. Did no, no, I, I would get I would get line lines like that. People say, "Are you colorblind?" You know, you know. And what uh, you felt? Were you? Well, you I know? always, always, yeah. But I did know by that point. It's like uh, I would almost like get flush when I, I realized it was time to grab their bundle of clothes. I was about to sell and make a. Uh, you know, make everybody happy with my performance as an employee and, and have to say, That's okay, the, the, the yeah. next step is to match a tie up with this outfit. And it's like, uh Oh, now I'm in trouble. Yeah, you, knew, you just, you yeah. just have to, uh, you, yeah. You know, you know, and if you're supposedly helping because they're saying, Oh, I'm just a, I'm just a hick. You need to help me. You're, you're the person that knows clothes. Yeah. Like, you're yeah. the, what were you seventeen at the time? Yeah, something like that. I was in high school. You're yeah. the you're the seventeen year old kid that knows about clothing, about yeah, fine right. clothing. Well, you yeah. know, yeah, uh, that was so that was back in the uh, uh, what what they call even call that fabric double knit. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, that stuff's hot. Oh, it's all polyester. Double polyester. That's it. Yeah, double knit. The uh, I have I still have a leather jacket I bought at Anthony's. It's it's mm -hmm. nice. I like it. I, I, a few years ago, I was going to replace it, and I and it's a real leather jacket. It's brown. It's not quite. It's more like a tan. And I, uh, I remember that was my sales pitch. This thing, these things last forever. Dude, it it yeah. it. it uh, I went to replace it, and so I started looking at leather jackets, and I every one I picked up, it's like this feels so cheap compared yeah, to mine. Compared to the one I got, and yeah. and and I looked, and I mean, like one a real leather a real leather jacket that I that was decent was like a thousand dollars. Yep. And I was like, no, no, no. I was like, I told my wife, eh, I don't want to spend that much on a jacket. And, and in fact, we were we were in New York, and I was I looked at them in New York. Somebody told me about a place you could get. Oh, this is a great place to get cheap leather jackets. And I'm like, yeah, these are cheap, all right. <laughs> and uh, and so I came home, and I and you know what I did? I bought some uh, some some uh, what's it called? Some some uh, uh, you know you can like wax a uh, wax like you can wax canvas yeah, soap saddle soap. Well, it's not saddle soap. It was it was hot. It was a wax. I had to heat it up, mm -hmm. and uh, I waxed that leather jacket, and it and it kind of gave it kind of a patina, uh -huh. and it gave it a nice. It's a great. I love that jacket. Now my only problem is it's too heavy. It never gets cold yeah. enough to wear it around here. Mm -hmm. Maybe tomorrow I'll wear it. <laughs> no, it won't be cold tomorrow. <laughs> Do what? It's not going to be cold tomorrow. I have a weather report right here. Oh, it will be uh, 58 degrees, breezy in the a.m. See, I got wind in 58. That might be uh, cold enough. Yeah. Might be. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. But anyway. Anyway, San Antonio is pretty cool. The river walk was, I didn't know what to, exp I, I was underwhelmed by the Alamo, but I was overwhelmed. I, I underestimated how cool. The river walk would be. I knew the Alamo wasn't going to be huge, but but it was it, that river walk was cool. I had a lot of fun. I went to the I went the the San Antonio Library had a book sale. I, it, apparently, they do all the time. I think a lot of cities do that. They just have an ongoing book sale in one of their rooms. You know what? Uh, this past weekend was the Friends of the Library sale. Yep. I was out and of I, town. Did yeah, you go? I, I didn't know about it until late Sunday. It said the friends of the library sale occurred, you know, like a, some yeah. like local news color thing. It's like, what? Uh, I want to, you know, maybe get some movies or something, you know? Uh, well, that's the deal that last year, that guy got all those criterion yeah. movies. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I don't go generally cause it's a pain in the neck and I'm lazy. It, yeah, but it's out the fairgrounds. It wouldn't be much of a trip. I, I, I'd make a trip to the fairgrounds just to maybe yeah. score some stuff. Yeah, I mean, there's always, but I mean, I got too much. And when anyway. you told me that they uh, probably had that Kirby book that I just got done reading, uh, Simon and Kirby's Horror Library of Horror, which was great stuff. Uh, you know, I, I might... Uh, Oh, I really, yeah. I really enjoyed that. It's just the uh, pedestrian Kirby, 
of uh, just showing how to sh do crowd scenes and like people talking scenes. It's all that. And it's like uh, he never gets to really do just a whole lot of Kirby dynamic, but that's kind of cool to see uh, how he solves, you know, the, yeah. uh, b the boring stuff, you know? Oh, I read an article. I wish I could find it. I tried to find it later, but not too long ago, I read an article, and I don't know if it was – I read it online, but I, it may have been copied from a, a magazine. But it was basically – basically the gist of the article was that Kirby's best work in the 60s when he was doing Fantastic Four was actually in his westerns. Mm -hmm. and it, and oh, it compared, my gosh. It compared, I love those things. It compared some of the art, and it's like, yeah, he was putting more work in on the westerns than he oh, was yeah. on the – Fantastic Four. He was he he loved anything where he could be a movie maker. Yeah, yeah. Oh, he, yeah. He, he really wanted to excite an audience. Yep. Well, it's just the detail and stuff he put in, like in in clothing and in buildings and stuff, was way higher in that mm -hmm. in those westerns mm -hmm. than in the, you know the fan, the superhero stuff. You know, it's like yeah, he was working harder on Two Gun Kid than he did on. You know, whatever, Fantastic Four. Yeah, I, I would love a, like an artisan's edition of uh, some of that era of Kirby. That'd be great. Oh yeah, that's that's the uh, that's the Kirby that I really like because mm -hmm. his later stuff he became a little too stylized for my taste. Mm -hmm. I mean, he's, he's still good. He's still Kirby, you know, but you know. Uh, oh, I remember now that I wasn't finished with the. Uh, stupid point i started and got myself mm. off track on uh anthony's no, no on, <laughs> the, on the on what you told me about the the library that that mm. particular book that horror book was something they used to have at the library and probably just said oh, let's just put this up for sale now that we've uh, had it for a while and it's like that that drives me crazy that i i missed out maybe on some of that kind of stuff i could have had at the friends of the library sale and yeah but like, that stuff goes quick yeah i mean and you gotta, and, you gotta be ready huh well and the door, and the door opens well and here's the other thing here so here's the thing this is what burned me out on going to the library cell one if you're a member of the friends of the library you can go on friday nights the line starts like at 10 o'clock in the morning and it doesn't open till six. Oh boy and there are dealers there i mean oh. and they come from all they come from states around Really, I, and, I didn't realize that. I, I don't. Oh, I don't, I don't it's ever do. Super I don't, crowded. Yeah, super I don't. Crowded. I don't do that. I don't do that. Yeah. So that's where all that stuff goes. My friend that got and so so then okay. So that's Friday if you're a friend of the library. Mm -hmm. If you're a volunteer at the at the sale, you can go on Thursday. That like my friend that got all those Criterion movies. Mm -hmm. He went. He was a he was a volunteer and he shopped on Thursday. Oh. So that's that's my thing. It's like, well, all the good crap. Yeah. Either, either you got to volunteer, which I'm not going to do. Dave volunteers, but I'm not going to volunteer. I mean, yeah. First off, most of the stuff. It's like life. It's fixed. Yeah. Well, it's just like, yeah. The fix I is in. No, I don't. I don't know about that, but it's just like I don't. I don't care. I've got. I've got plenty of books. If I want a book, if I really wanted that Simon Kirby stuff. Mm -hmm. it's out there you i could find it. it i'd buy yeah. it i mean you know i got that i bought that bill gil kane the other book the other day you know it's it's not that big a deal um you know uh it's it's yeah i mean it's out there i bought oh oh hey uh what? i don't know how much time, how much time do we have well we're at 58 and a half minutes what do you want to say let me go get something real quick okay I'm going to, I'm, I'm going to stay on so you can talk, but I'm going to okay. go down. Uh, so a we're, guy, st we're, are you going to go? Well, uh, you're in motion right now. Okay. Yes. Cool. I'm, I'm going downstairs. I don't think I'll lose connection. Why, why, why do we, uh, still hear your sound so good? Because I have Bose Bluetooth head, a Bluetooth cool. headset on. That's, that's that awesome. Like I need to, I need to be less of a boomer and start trying to think about maybe, experimenting with the iPhone and, and seeing if that's what I ought to be streaming with and stuff like that. Oh, yeah. I mean, that's what I'm using is my iPhone. Yeah. And what, what program do you load to uh, stream with? Just 
your bright oh, uh, safari or what well i don't i don't stream when i record okay. a video i just record it in the iphone camera and upload it okay but oh that's all you do you say uh yeah just start start uh, having a video feed and yeah okay i'll have to research this <laughs> okay so i got a new uh, uh i don't know if you know you probably don't know mario white but he started yeah a, uh, oh you him. do okay we, we nice. walked around downtown oh yeah we, we yeah. went to uh some sort of odd uh, brazilian uh food place that used to be this really good mexican place uh get what it was i oh, bought no, a new, I, 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 so he sh he brought this to work and he said he showed it to me he's like hey he said i accidentally bought two copies of this i don't know how you do that but yeah. anyway it's this daredevil artist edition and he sold me one and less than covered they're out of print by the way but he but he he told me why he bought it it's uh, are you familiar with chris somni uh no oh are you looking at your screen no i am looking at your i'm looking at you page through the book yeah it's cool art well and and what's cool about this one nice and open and clean good yeah spot black blacks oh look yeah 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 he's got, got his he's got his layouts so what he layouts, would do rough. is he would do his layouts this is the size of his layouts Mm -hmm. He blows them up to this size and then inks right on top of them. Yeah. No, that makes you make good decisions. It's like, okay, I've, I've been messy. Let's go right to the meat of it. Yeah, that, that's yeah. pretty interesting. Yeah. And anyway, that's, the that's, that's the reason he bought the thing. So he could that's have why that. he bought the thing. There's also something else that it came with. Uh, and I've never seen an artist, artist edition that came with this. Cool. This is his thumbnails, and it is Samney. Okay, hey, that is the a great script that he's done his thumbnails on. Mm -hmm. So just if you right on top, of, he's just uh, tearing out the uh, visuals for the whole thing right there, reading his script. Yep. So you can take this and read the script. Mm -hmm. and th and see his entire process mm -hmm. and i was like okay this is pretty cool oh yeah I'll, you got yeah that's so I, really anyways useful. so because most of the uh, artist edition don't come with the scripts they don't come mm -hmm. with the second book this is an, an expensive artist edition yeah <laughs> i yeah. spent a little i spent a little money on this but but i i got a deal because i paid less than cover for it and it's out of print very cool and anyway anyway i thought that was pretty cool um, and I wanted to show you that as such. I'm using an emery board to clean my nails with it. And I just now noticed it's also something I've been sharpening pencils with. Oh, my, no. Your my nails finger, are black. My fingertips are black now. Yeah. Bellis goes Great. off. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, Scott, I guess we've uh, we yammered done? a little bit. Yeah, we... Uh, Missed last week, and lost all of our audience. Well, I didn't, <laughs> I'm, I'm, kidding. I, I'm kidding. I didn't. I didn't post that I was going to be on here. I probably should have and tagged Dan. I think Dan may have joined us. I don't see it. Yeah, no. it's okay. It's right. I don't know. I, sh I should have tagged us, but that's okay. Hey, Flyfox, uh, I uh, if you're still listening, I know some people go into real passive mode when they've got these things on. I'm back on Twitter and I've seen some of your posts recently. That's uh, interesting to uh, be back on Twitter all of a sudden. Oh, it's bad <laughs> for you. It's, it's yeah, exactly. Oh, it's, it's horrible for you. For you. I, horrible. I turned it, I turned it on and I, I was like furious within, uh, you know, minutes of, uh, checking out, you know, just scrubbing down, down the page. Oh, but, my, pro my problem is people that I know, will post something that I don't want to see. Yeah, I mean, they'll, exactly. They'll, they'll retweet it and or like it, and it flows up my feed. Yeah, I'm I'm yeah. Not, I'm, do, I'm done with these guys that say, "Hey, it's my job to show you every violent occurrence uh, in uh, oh, in, yeah. in America today." I'm going to start blocking people like that because 
I know it's out there. I know it's yeah, out there, need, but it makes you uh, angry. You say, I, I'd like to punch that guy. Exactly. You know? Yeah, we need to lower the temperature. That's, yeah, what I, yeah. that's what I was telling a guy at work. Everyone at work is so high strung. I said, I've decided that we're in our busy season right now. It ends in the mm-hmm. end of May. I said, I'm going to challenge myself between now and then to be the opposite and to kill yeah. people with kindness yeah, yeah. <laughs> so to try speak. to be yeah. try to be i mean i'm gonna make i'm gonna make an it attempt doesn't, it. doesn't take anybody but uh you know it's like one of those things that made me mad someone killed somebody over a parking spot it's like yeah then at christmas can can we just go ahead and go straight to capital punishment for somebody that would do something that bloodthirsty you know yeah yeah but I like the, I think it was, I think it was Ray Bradbury. <laughs> well, saw, Thursday, right, you know, that's my solution, you know, right yeah, to capital the, punishment. Right to, right to, let's kill them all. Yeah. That's okay. I, I told, I told, I was talking to a friend of mine on the phone. He called me and I said, you know, people that drink and drive, people that drive stoned, they mm-hmm. should just be drug out of their car, shot and left in the street like a dog. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> so, so I've had my own bloodthirsty bit today, but. Uh, mm-hmm. Ray, Ray Bradbury had a great thing. Um, I think it was Ray Bradbury. I saw him on the, on the, uh, Tom Snyder show one time. And he said, he said, if you'll be happy, don't watch the news. He says it's full of, full of things you don't want to hear about happening to people you don't know. Yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah. All the year and a half that I was off Twitter, Twitter didn't need me. Twitter no, didn't need you me didn't, with hey, my, my finger you, on the pulse. You didn't need it. Yeah, exactly. Hey, so by the way, I watched your video about your in world stuff. That's really, really good. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, that was I fun. Enjoyed Dude, I enjoyed that. I need to do more of that. I need to do more of that. I enjoyed uh, that. Have you got more work from in world? Uh, no, and I haven't. I haven't done what's obvious that I send uh, an email yeah. off to that new guy. Why you, know. you got to do that, dude? Yeah, yeah. You got to send him an email with a link to some of your work some sort of portfolio thing <laughs> that and youtube I, well i would i said and i would say hey by the way if you want to see a, an overview i did a i did a video about my experience of working for in world mm-hmm. if you're yeah, interested yeah, yeah. here's the, i would send that as a separate link mm-hmm. so that he did so if he goes i don't want to watch a 15 minute video yeah. he can still look and see your work mm-hmm. you know i mean that's sure. the thing you try and get mm-hmm. work yeah, yeah, yeah. I need some. I'm. I, we're coming up on. Uh, by the end of this month, my property taxes need to be paid, and uh, oh by, my gosh, uh, our, and ours went up. Our the yeah. value of our house went up. Yeah, well, that's that's annoying. You know, I mean, it's like, don't tell. You know, you aren't a real estate agent. Quit telling us our our property went up, so you need more taxes. What what nonsense? You know. No, oh, yeah. The state is, you know, now again the like the, robber the, barons. Yeah, the fix is in. Yeah, yeah. Well, well, you ready? I am ready, Ellis. Okay. Uh, and by the way, that page is looking good. This black cricket, where you at in that? Uh, this is page four. Unfortunately, I should have more done. I'm I'm going to try and get as much done as I can this weekend. But I am going to the auto show. Oh, I mean, cool. I'm, I may be, I may be buying a new car before too long. I don't know. I decided. Okay. Okay. <laughs> uh, okay. Ending show right now. 